Hey guys, welcome to RK Keynotes. In this video, I'll show you how to configure MySQL database with NetBeans 8.0.2 IDE. So the first thing is, we have already installed XAMPP application, right? Uh, we have used in the previous modules. So even I have my XAMPP application installed in this because in this we have servers like Apache and Tomcat. And also we have MySQL database installed. I mean, uh, with this package. Okay. Now, what we can do is you can follow the traditional approach, like you can open XAMPP and you can start Apache and MySQL, then you can create database uh, using browser. Fine. Uh, but if you want to do database creation and everything inside this IDE, in the sense, then go to services. The first thing you have to do is that you have to explore databases. You will not see this MySQL server option. So for that, you have to right click on databases. You have to do this part. Register MySQL server. You have to click on this. The moment you click within a seconds, few seconds, this will get enabled. Right. Now, what you have to do is uh, it will ask for some properties. So you have to right click and go to properties. And here it might throw some error for you. So Keep the server host name as localhost, port number is 3306, username is root and password is nothing. Now, these admin properties are important for you. So initially it will be empty. So you have to set this. So for a path URL, you have to say HTTP localhost PHP my admin. And then this start command and stop command. And then this arguments you have to specify. So in case if you have installed MySQL, uh, sorry, XAMPP uh, in D drive or something, then you should find this location. For example, C XAMPP MySQL bin MySQL uh, D.exe you have to find. So you have to go to browse this computer I have installed in C drive. Then you can see XAMPP folder. Then within XAMPP, I need to get into MySQL folder. And then I need to get into bin, right? And uh, I need to select my SQL. Just hit my M in your keyboard. So it will take you to. So I need to select this my SQL D, right? So it's over, it is over here. So I need to select this my SQL D.exe. Fine. I need to say open so that this will get, I mean, this path will get loaded here. And similarly, you have to find this uh, my uh, uh, as a stop command. Fine, then you should enter this arguments. So once you do this and then click OK, your MySQL server uh, will get ready. Now you have to right click and you have to say start. OK, so right now you can see that it is showing disconnected, right? So which means that it will, uh, we need to start this. Let me say start. And it is starting here. You can see that. Now it got started, right? The disconnected option got disabled now now you can explore this whatever you see in this you can see the same thing in browser if you open with apache right so now i'm going to perform everything over here so i need to create a database let me show you how to create a database right click on this mysql create database you can specify a um, database name as something and grant full access so that you can perform all the operations okay so click on okay now you can see that database got created. Now what you have to do is you have to right click on the database and then you have to say connect. In case if you wish to do, wish to delete any of these databases, you can say delete, right? So connect. Once you do this, you can see here MySQL, JDBC MySQL localhost 3306RK. Okay. So in case if you if you feel that this is lengthy with this convert to null and all, you can remove the rest of the code and you can keep only this part this is fine okay now what you want to do is you have to right click on this connection and then see now it is connected and you can explore this even if you want to disconnect you can use this option or if you want to refresh you can go for you can rename and you can even check the properties so now explore this and inside this, you can see the database name is RK. You can 
change your youtube uh, quality i mean the video quality keep it in either 720 or 1080 fine so that you can see this clearly now let me explore this database our case so you can see here three options tables views and procedures now if you wish to create a table right now there are no tables so right click on tables and create table fine and you can mention table name key, uh, name here so let me say our big keynotes and then add column here the column name can be id and then here again the data type uh, let me say int okay and then the size for other uh, things you can specify i'm saying this is primary key and then okay now it got created you can see that similarly you can add rest of the columns and let, let's say name and then this is worker and then the size can be something like this and that's it let me say okay now i have two columns even if you want to wish uh, you know uh, if you wish to change something over here you can click this check boxes and you can see the rest of the things over here okay now i'll just click if you want to move up or down you can do that over here right, right? that column uh, names can be you know swapped up and down uh, so let me click on okay now my table got created and then right click and then if you say view data and then you can you know visualize you can it'll print all the data for us uh, or else if you want to add extra column then again you can perform so here you can check the structure and let me go for view data first so it is automatically mentioning this uh, select statement for us and then you can see that there are two columns id and name right now there is nothing so if you wish to insert some value you can write sql code over here and then it can be inserted or you can use whatever the uh, statements you want to perform that can be entered over here fine so for that you can use uh, this execute command option and then wherever you want you can write the sql statements and then you can run the same for example select uh, i used to do the same so let's start from uh, the table name is our arcade keynotes fine and then select and then you can use this run option over here so run sql click on this and there's a shortcut even that is you can see that control shift e to execute and then it'll display the same fine so if you wish to insert a record you can add and you can delete so you can manipulate whatever the instances you want okay now this is how you can connect your mysql database and you know that uh, here let me open xamp for your reference and basically whenever you want to execute uh, mysql on browser we will start apache server right and here nothing is required just mysql database is enough and we have started here so that it started automatically in xamp fine if you stop here it will be stopped over here even means if you stop in xamp and then here it will get stopped in my uh in it means even okay so you know that in the first video we have seen the most important advantage that to execute hibernate application program uh, you don't require the servers uh, like in jsp and servlets we we have used tomcat fine so here we don't require that so let me stop over here and see what happens here so let me refresh here and you will get this error that connection has been lost and you can see that it is showing disconnected fine so once you configure a uh, database here in services in netbeans you don't need to start with xamp and all getting it so we never touch xamp uh, in this playlist means in this uh, hibernate framework module so in the next video i'll show you how to perform the same connection with a java application using hibernate framework and then we will try to insert a value into the database using hibernate framework stay tuned if you like the video hit the like button do subscribe my channel Thank you and thanks for watching the video.